Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. My name is Lauren and I am a senior studying chemical engineering at the University of Rhode Island. And today I thought it would be kind of fun to show you guys what I keep and carry in my backpack on a day-to-day -day basis. So I think back during freshman year or maybe at the end of freshman year, I put together a video of my top 10 college essentials. So instead of doing that video over again in the same exact way, I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you like what I'm actually carrying with me on a day-to-day -day basis when I have classes, when I'm just going to campus to go to the lab, because a few things have changed and a few things have stayed the same since that video. Without further ado, let's get on into my backpack. Honestly, after four years, I consider this thing like my child. I got this right before freshman year started. It's just a black North Face backpack. If you go on any college campus, I'm sure about 50% of the student population will have this same exact backpack. However, that is for a reason. I love it. I've taken it with me on trips. It's been with me to Iceland. It's been with me to St. Bart's in the Caribbean. And it comes with me every single day on my way to and from campus. So has a great amount of storage space. It's reliable. I don't know what else to say. It's a damn good backpack. Starting on the outside pockets here, it has two water bottle holders. And honestly, I think this is where the most wear has shown. There's a couple holes. It definitely gets thrown around a little bit, but I always like to have some sort of water containing vessel. So right now I have just a black Awala handled mug, kind of like a Stanley, but not because it's Awala. I like it. And then I always like to carry some sort of secondary drink. So that's either a monster energy drink or lately it's also been tea. There's still a little bit of tea left in here. I believe it's raspberry, but this is what I use to carry my tea with me. Honestly, two drinks might be overkill to carry with me at one time, but if it makes me happy and it does, I'm just gonna do it. Now, starting from the smallest pocket to the largest pocket in this front, very accessible little guy over here, we have hand lotion, hand sanitizer, and aquaphor. Don't really need to explain, these are essentials. I'm also always carrying around a hair tie for senior lab and for sometimes when I'm doing cell culture work in my undergrad research lab, I like to have my hair pulled back. So have this just in case. In a similar vein, I have a little thumb drive USB right here because believe it or not, we still use these. Sometimes senior lab, we need to get data off of a certain computer and some of the computers and software are quite old. So we use thumb drives also for using the microscope in my lab. I like to use my own thumb drive because I can just have all my data on here. And last but not least, the AirPods. Again, self-explanatory. These come with me everywhere. You will not see me on campus walking around without some sort of headphones in. Usually, need I say more? All right. Next on the list is the second smallest pocket. What I'm keeping in here first is Magic Mind Shot. Now, if you haven't seen my last video or haven't seen any of my Instagram videos, I've been taking Magic Minds since the start of the semester and I am absolutely obsessed with the results. I feel like it just boosts my productivity and my ability to focus and reach the flow state. It's it's fantastic. Just a little shot, like two ounces. Um, I just take it straight up, usually right after my coffee or sometimes when I'm in my car on the way to campus. So I always like to keep an extra one in here. I highly recommend if you have trouble focusing in the morning or throughout the day, the nootropics in here, the natural caffeine, like it'll really help you out. So I do have a link. It's in the description and I'll put my code right here to get up to 56% off uh, your order there. They have a full money back guarantee, no questions asked. If you don't feel the effects or see any changes, you can return it. Always keep in magic mind in that front pocket. Next up, an engineer's absolute dream right here. TI-84 calculator. It's my baby. I think this was in my college essentials video from a couple years ago because uh, it, it still is essential. I'm not actually using it that much this semester because a lot of our classes are more project-based, but for all of my like thermo process controls, kinetics, all of that, I was using this calculator every single day. So if you're going the engineering route or any STEM related route, probably gonna wanna invest in one of these bad boys. Also something that I didn't have freshman year or I don't think I carried with me, safety glasses. This is specifically for my senior lab uh, because we have to wear safety glasses and the ones that are provided to us are really uncomfy. So this was from my general chemistry lab that I got freshman year and I've continued to carry them around. They're super comfy and I just keep them in my backpack because if I don't, I'll forget them. On the rapid fire, we have 
chargers. I have iPad charger, iPhone charger, and tissues. Then last but not least in this pocket, I actually have this one terabyte, I believe, uh, SSD hard drive. This is because I am filming every single day for my daily Instagram reels. So I like to keep a lot of those videos once I record and edit them um, on this hard drive so that it doesn't clog up my phone storage. So definitely something that might not be applicable to all of you guys, but this is what I'm carrying. Other than a few extra pens and pencils, that is pretty much it for that pocket. Moving on, along with my AirPods, I also have these Sony over-ear headphones. Again, I think this was in my original College Essentials video and I stand by a nice pair of over-ear headphones are game-changing. I love my AirPods. I like wearing my AirPods when I'm walking around campus, but if I'm staying put for a while and I'm getting work done or I just wanna be like in the zone, I'm putting these on and no one's distracting me. I'm getting work done. So highly recommend. These are the Sony WH something right here. That's what they are. I absolutely love these things and they come with me every single day. Kind of boring, but laptop charger, essential, yeah. And finally, in this pocket, which is a new addition since the new year because I got it as a Christmas gift, is my Kindle. I will say I used to just carry whatever book I was reading in my backpack, uh, but now I've graduated to a slightly smaller profile of the Kindle. My goal this year is to read 30 books. I am now four books in this year. Uh, it's mid-February, so I don't know, make of that as you will. This is my Kindle. Last but not least, probably saved the most boring pocket for last. So get ready. In here, we have my laptop, which is a uh, MacBook Pro. I don't know what model it is. I got it last year. Funny story, actually. I got it last year. Uh, finally upgraded my laptop because I'd had my old one for a bunch of years and the fan was super loud and the battery didn't last. So I kind of splurged and I got a MacBook, which I'm obsessed with. I took it with me on vacation to uh, the Caribbean, to St. Bart's, and you have to take a ferry over to that island. And uh, my boyfriend Sam and I were going together. We sat on the top deck and we went during the windy season down there. Sat on the top deck, exposed to the elements because we thought that would mean we wouldn't get seasick. And we were right, we did not get seasick. Instead, we got pelted by seawater and waves coming over, crashing over the top of the ship. So my laptop was inside this very here backpack, which you can kind of still see the salt stains from the seawater because I haven't washed it or anything. But anyway, backpack got completely wet. Normally it's pretty water resistant. I wouldn't say it's waterproof, but it does fine in the rain. So I wasn't super worried, but we got to our villa that night opened my backpack, I went to go turn this on and it didn't turn it on. Come to find out, water had gotten in in the perfect way to get into the fans. Fans blew the water everywhere inside this and completely fried everything. So luckily I had an Apple Care and it was taken care of, but I thought that's just a fun story to share. Uh, it's tragic in the moment because I actually had to take a Zoom call during that trip to give a presentation for Senior Lab remotely. And without a laptop, I was like, how am I gonna do that? But luckily, Sam had his laptop, so everything was fine. But I've gotten some questions about what laptop I use as an engineering major. I definitely went into the major, into my undergrad, thinking I would need a PC. I haven't found that I've needed a PC specifically for anything. I haven't found that owning a Mac hinders me in any way. So if that answers your question, I, I think for some of the other engineering majors, there might be software that you need that can't be put on a Mac. So it's definitely program specific and I would ask around, but I've been using a Mac now for a little while. And even before then I had classmates with MacBooks and they're doing just fine. So that's that for the laptop. Final two things. Also new as of January, I started journaling every day as kind of like a new year's goal. If I'm on campus and I want to journal, then I have it with me in my backpack. Finally, and probably my most used item in my backpack, might be an over exaggeration, but I feel like it's my most used item, like even above my laptop, is my iPad. I got this 
freshman year. And ever since then, I've used it every single day. Good Notes to Take Notes has absolutely saved my butt throughout my undergrad experience using way less paper. I Everything's organized right on here in folders. Thoroughly enjoyed having an iPad. It was probably the best investment I made at the beginning of my undergraduate journey. And I look forward to continuing to use it throughout my graduate school journey. This is just the iPad Air. It's from a bunch of years ago and it still does great work for me. So I highly recommend. That is it for the backpack. All empty. I still don't know if I'm going to get a new backpack for when I go to grad school because this one, I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble letting it go. I'll be honest. This is, yeah, a lot of memories with this one. Anyway. Just a quick reminder again, before I sign this video off, if you wanna check out Magic Mind, I do have that link. Uh, it should be right at the top of the description and my code is right here. Please, please go check it out because um, it's really gonna support me and my channel, but also it's gonna help you. I hope you guys enjoyed this different style of sit down video. Hope you enjoyed seeing what I'm carrying on a day-to-day -day basis as an engineering student. And I hope you got some inspiration as to what items you should include with your everyday carry kind of situation. With that, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all those normal YouTube things because it really, really helps me out. Stay happy, stay healthy out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.